Pro tip, more of a pro tip. But when you come to the gym, try to take, this is something I notice a lot, people aren't focused when they come to the gym. Mm -hmm. Take a minute, maybe two minutes if it takes you that long, uh -huh. to get in the right mindset before you come to the gym. But before you ever step into that door. Yeah, or it could be here, you get here and then you take a minute, uh -huh. you get focused, get in the right mindset, like I'm gonna kill this thing. A lot of people just come in, oh, okay, let me get my music, all right, let's start first step warm up, you know? Mm -hmm. And they see a big dude next to them, like, oh my gosh, if only I was that big. Just stare at the dude and then forget to do their set. Or they see a dude that's almost as big as them, uh -huh. like, oh my gosh, now it's time for me to pump up, to lift some heavy weights, and throw weights around, you know? Assert my uh, alpha dominance in this gym, you know? Or people see them, oh my gosh, I'm looking huge. Forget their set, and they're like, they're flexing and checking their abs every five minutes. True. Or, they see someone small and they like trying to intimidate them, whatever, you know. Get big, look big. They're not focused on their own workout. Yeah. No one's focused on around their phones doing whatever. Take a minute, two minutes, however long it takes you to get in the right mindset. You stay focused, put your music on and just go in. It doesn't matter if a cute chick walks by. You don't need to go talk to her and so all the guys know you can get a hot chick. No, just lift. That's what you're here in the gym for, so do that. Stay focused during your workouts. You get a lot more out of it. See? Listen to this guy. He knows what's up too. Alright. It's a serious bro tip though. Listen to him, seriously. Uh, he was talking about me. <laughs> I was uh I'm the guy who uh uses phone a lot. What's up guys? What's up? This is big daddy over here. Yeah dude. Uh, he's a uh, he's a bodybuilder I've had. I'm a powerlifter. We um we see each other a lot in the gym, but we never get to like really do that work workout with. And uh, since I'm really, like, now I'm doing this speaking program where I have like bodybuilding days and they have like upper body push accessories, so I hit them up. I try to work out together. And uh, he's doing chest and chest today, so I'm just gonna do whatever he does and then. Just See how it goes. And uh, right now we're doing a flat dumbbell. Dumbbell bench. And uh, we're starting with a hundred. We're going up right now. And this is normal for powerlifting. Yeah, right. Doing a five hundred program. It's just like reps. It's like cardio sucks. Intensity. It's just like everything beyond five reps is a cardio. The leanest, or one of the leanest people at Penn. And uh, apparently I'm the fattest. <laughs> so what are we doing today? All right. So apparently he's a bodybuilder. I'm a powerlifter. Well, I, I use uh, I use 15 pounds. Hopefully no one's taking them. So now he's doing the one thing. Trying to do one thing. The strongest bodybuilder of the time. See how many reps he can get. I'm so out of breath.
is like a J pattern. Yeah, yeah. Mine is one. Straight up. I got it. One more. One more. One more. Why did you decide to do bodybuilding? What's up? Why did you decide to do bodybuilding instead of powerlifting? Because I was going for size over strength. And I tried powerlifting at least like five times. You gotta do it every time injury. <laughs> every time <laughs> Because my... Just hold the... Do a... Oh my gosh, I hate this. Why? Because my training philosophy is you go uh -huh. until you're actually fatigued and you can't go anymore. Mm -hmm. And so if you try to do that in powerlifting, with your triples or whatever, you're definitely gonna get into it. So you know, your, your, your training philosophy is like completely opposite from... Right, so if I was gonna take a weight, like 70% of my max and try to do a triple with it, if I saw a juice in the tank, I'd go for a four. So everything uh, I did in powerlifting when I was, did it was to failure. Then why, why don't you change your training philosophy? Because I just not All right, like, yeah, that makes sense. sense. I would commit a long time. You're like, I have to get more. Exactly. And I've been doing that for seven years. So I'm like, change out. Thirty-five. 
If I just rest like a minute and a half, I won't be able to get any rest like he would. And like at the end of the workout, he was doing like, he was fine with like bodyweight dips. Although like I'm a bit heavier, but I can't even do bodyweight for one. So that's like, like today's workout is like essentially like the, really shows the difference between like how different training splits like affect your body and your conditioning kind of. It's like it really shows the difference between like powerlifter and then bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because for bodybuilding, you go after size, right? It's yeah. a general idea. For powerlifting, you go after strength. So it's just different styles of training. At the end, for a bodybuilder, your body is just totally depleted. For uh, a powerlifter, your nervous system is just shot. Yeah, it's like the. It's like what we talked earlier. Like for a bodybuilder, like he was so used to. RPE 10 for every single set, but uh, for us, like we're sometimes like intentionally doing RPE 6 or like 5 just to make it like make the recovery easier for, for your next day. And um, we're only training like four days a week, whereas like they probably train like more than yeah, so six days a week. So that's uh, like a huge difference. And then we're probably gonna do like a one more where like he does a powerlifting workout with me in the future. And then that's it guys, we'll see you next time.